Hey guys, it's Charlie, and in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to make a streetwear style t-shirt design, and this is going to be the easy method, guys, so everybody can follow along. Take one second to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss another video. We are designing in Photoshop today. You guys already know what time it is. Let's begin. Let's talk about resources. Quality design resources help make designing an easy task. Use websites such as Envato Elements, Unsplash, Adobe Stock, or even my website, charliepingus.com, to find the assets that fit your design perfectly. The statue that you see in front of you was found using Envato's 3D image stock, which is amazing because you can rotate the images to any degree that you want to fit your design. And that is so powerful. And that's exactly where I found this. I'm using the pen tool right here to trim around the neck that way I can just isolate the face and work with that. Combining all these different design assets together also yields different results. And there's a million different combinations that you can go with. I found an entire vector 3D grid pack on Envato Elements. So I'm using it on this design along with the statue in order to create something truly unique. Finding graphics, fonts, and other design assets sometimes isn't enough. Photoshop has powerful tools. Use them and master them to fit your resources into your design. Don't be afraid of warping, bending, and sometimes even erasing an asset to make it work with your design. The beautiful thing about Photoshop is we can do things that allow us to really transform an image that's pretty simple on the surface, but we can really complicate that image and make it look like a completely new piece of art. Now, right here, you see me doing a lot of cutting using layer masks, warping with the transform tool and all that good stuff. But that's really all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Choosing the right font is crucial when creating your design. I'll give you guys a quick example. If you're creating a design from the 90s, let's say, in that style and use a modern font from 2021, it might throw the entire vibe off. Research is going to be your best friend and it's always going to pay off before starting any design. One tip I can give you guys when trying to find fonts is use keywords that describe your design that you're going for. So if you're doing a 90s design, type in 90s fonts and try to find one that fits your design. When I was designing this, I thought of past and present, space and time. And with the 3D grid, I just automatically thought of space fonts. So I went and looked for fonts that had that vibe and Envato Elements had one that I really liked. Use different font sizes to give your design hierarchy. This is important to make your design look pleasing to the eye and drive your viewers' attention to certain areas of your design. For example, Survive is larger on purpose, so it's the first thing my viewers will notice. To reiterate, if you guys want to make designing super easy, find the right design resources, whether that is graphics, fonts, whatever it may be, find them before you start designing. That's exactly what I did with this design. I found everything I wanted to use on it and look how easy it is. Now I just have to plug and play, position, resize, figure out where I want things to sit and let my imagination run wild.
All right, let's talk about color now. Finding the right color can be challenging at times. Use websites such as Adobe Color to find color palettes that fit your design. This is one of my favorite parts of the design process and I find it super relaxing. What about you? A lot of what I do is very repetitive. I use the same exact methods I teach you guys in every video to achieve the designs that you see me make. What it comes down to honestly is a lot of patience and having fun in Photoshop and just really trying new things out, being innovative. The worst thing you could possibly do is get frustrated guys, trust me. You're never going to be the best designer, remember that. There's always going to be somebody out there better than you or more skilled than you, but that is okay. You don't have to be the best. Make designs that you enjoy. I have a few more things to say to you guys before I go, and I also wanna show you the final mock-up. I hope you guys like it. Remember guys, have fun. Design is all about self-expression. Be you and let your unique personality shine. I can't say unique, guys, I don't know why. Let your unique personality shine through your work. That is how you will constantly grow as a designer. I hope all of you learned something today. Thanks for watching. Unique, unique you knew in New York. <laughs> don't forget to turn on notifications, guys, all of them, so you don't miss another video. See you next time.